Hello and welcome. Try this problem on your own and then when you're ready, press play and we'll solve it together. Alright, so this problem, um, what I'm going to do is use the quadratic formula, which is the formula given on the exam. It says x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And this is the formula that if you haven't memorized yet, it's something that will sink in over time. And what we're going to do is identify a, b, and c and plug into the formula. So this is just my way of solving it. There, of course, are other ways. But we have x plus 3 squared equals 7. The first thing I do is expand this, x plus 3 times x plus 3, and equals 7. Then I'm going to distribute. I get x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 7. And then I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides, because in order to use the quadratic formula, your equation has to be written and balanced at 0. So x squared plus 6x plus 2 equals 0. Once you have this form right here, once you have the standard form, um, a is the coefficient of x squared, so a is 1. b is the coefficient of x, so b is 6. And c is the constant at the end, so c is 2. Then we plug this into our formula. x equals negative 6 plus or minus the square root. b squared is 36 minus 4 times a times c is simply just 4 times 1 times 2, which is minus 8, all over 2 times 1, or 2. And then we're going to simplify this. So x is the same thing as negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 28 over 2. And we're dividing both uh, terms up here by 2. So negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, plus or minus, and you can actually set up the square root of 28 over 2 uh, as the square root of 28 over the square root of 4, right? The square root of 4 is just 2, so I know this is equivalent. And the reason I do that is because when you have square roots set up um, like this, where you're just dividing one by the other, you can divide the radicand, the number inside the radical sign, directly. So we can think of this as negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 7. Right? The square root of 7, I got that because 20 divided by 4 is just 7. And this is our answer. So negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 7. That's choice 1. Thanks.